Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid Morning Manna. Lonnie Mattingly here. I'm glad you've tuned in. We're here in our home office today and will be all this week. And as we're recording these messages on the previous week, but I'm glad to come into your home, into your place of business, into your automobile, wherever you might be. Maybe you can only listen to it because you're driving, or maybe you are at a place where you can sit down and watch and uh, be involved in it. This week, we're talking about Dr. Lee Robertson's message, his famous message, uh, that he, and the the whole title of it is Be Famous in Your Service for God. And uh, Dr. Robertson used Proverbs 22.1 as the launching pad for it. He said, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold. And yesterday on Monday, we talked about that we needed to have faith in God or that that we needed to to have that that testimony uh, and have uh, to be famous for our faith in God, and faith in God is demonstrated by our faith in the Word of God, because we say we believe that this is God's book. We believe this this book expresses expresses God's desire for us, and it also expresses his love for us, and gives us the plan of salvation. I'm just going to have faith in the book of books, the word of God. Nothing like it in the world. Hope you spend some time on a regular basis opening the Bible and reading it and uh, and taking a verse or two when you go to church on Sunday and listen. And when the pastor says something that just really strikes your heart, jot that verse down and then go home and read it over, meditate on it. And if it's a, if it's a good verse that you can, that you can meditate, Memorize, memorize that verse. Get it in your heart and in your life. So we need to be famous for faith in God. Famous for faith in God. When people think of you, think of me, I hope they think well, there goes somebody that really is a, a genuine Christian. There goes somebody that really does love God. There goes somebody that's really trying to be what God has told us to be in this book. It's not always the easiest thing in the world to do. It's not like, you know, it's as easy as falling off a log backwards. It's not that easy. You have to work at it. You have to, first of all, you have to figure out what it is and let God teach you what he wants you to be and then strive to be that very thing. But today we're talking about on this Tuesday, June the 13th, we're talking about to be famous, to be famous for purity in your life. Think about this. Be famous for purity in your life. Are you living a life of purity? Are you living a life where you're trying to follow the dictates of God's word? You're leaving out of your life the things that God said he doesn't want you to have, doesn't want you to do? Are you trying to incorporate into your life the things that God clearly told us that he did want us to do to love our neighbors and be kind one to another and pray for those in authority? All on and on we could go with those kind of things. When you run across a, a command from God or a directive from God that you say, by the grace of God, and with the help of God, I'm going to implement that in my life. Listen to the verse that uh, that was given, and uh, in First Peter chapter one and verse twenty-two. I got to get over here in the New Testament. In First Peter chapter one and verses one and two, he says this. I'm sorry, chapter. I said one and two. Chapter one, uh, verse twenty-two. First Peter chapter one, verse 22. I'll get this right in a minute, okay? And he said, seeing that you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. With a pure heart. See, purity of heart. Sometimes we treat people nice because we have an ulterior motive. Uh, we feel like they have something that they can give us or somehow they could be a blessing to us or somehow they could recommend us for, for a job or, or, or help us with finances or any one of a thousand other things. But God said, I want you to have a pure heart. I want you to do what you do for, for my glory, for God's glory and for the benefit and blessing to those for, who you do, for whom you do it. I want you to I want you to have that pureness of heart not that not that little uh, uh sneaky uh, what's in it for me how can I manipulate this person and get out of them what I what I'd like to have or whatever else it might be but to, instead God said if you have that pure heart what you're going to do is you're going to love one another with a pure heart and then he used this word fervently fervently. It's, it's a big deal to you. And you're doing it with a passion in your heart. 
And we're going to love folks fervently. And when they hurt, we hurt. When they're helped, we're, we're rejoicing in them. We're not jealous of them. We're, we're rejoicing with them. And God wants us to live that way. Let me just give you another verse here in Leviticus chapter number 20. In Leviticus and chapter number 20, the Bible says, Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye whole. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. But sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. He said, sanctify yourself. You know, that word sanctify means to be set apart. In other words, we're, we're not just trying to keep up with the world. We're not just trying to blend. You know, a lot of people are more like wallpaper. They just sort of blend in with where, whoever they're with at the time, and wherever they are, whatever's going on. They just sort of try to blend into the background. Like wallpaper, I call them wallpaper Christians. They're just blending into the back background. But God said, I don't want to see that. I, he said, look, you have purified your souls. In other words, God's saying, those of you who are saved, you have purified your souls. You've been, wa you, you've been washed in the blood of the lamb and and he said in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently in leviticus chapter 20 verse number seven he said sanctify yourselves therefore and be ye holy for i am the lord your god in first peter chapter number 15 got to get back over here in the new testament again in first peter chapter number 15 and uh Chapter number one and verses 15 and 16, he says this, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be, uh, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy. And when he said in all manner of conversation, he wasn't just talking about how we talk, how we converse verbally with one another. He's talking about what our life says to others as they watch us, as we go in and out among them, as we visit places of business, as we spend the resources that God has given to us. They're watching. The world is watching. And he said, I want you to be holy. I want you to have that purity of life so that you that when you say something, when you speak to someone, when you encourage someone, they know that you know what you're talking about. They know that you're coming to them from a spiritual point of view because they've been watching your life. And you have become famous. Be, be famous. That's what, uh, that's what Dr. Robertson said. He said, be, be famous in your love for the Lord Jesus Christ. My, how important that is. And I hope that you'll do it. Let God work in your life and let you become that famous Christian that others, when they have a spiritual need, a spiritual want, they need, they need a prayer, they'll give you a call. They'll, they'll talk to you about it. They'll, they'll look to you for an answer because you have been that holy example that God has asked you to be. Well, let's pray. Father, I thank you for the love of Christ. I thank you, Lord, that we can be famous in our walk and in our talk, in the life that we live before a lost and dying world. Help us to be famous for you. And Father, we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.